Hey guys, this is Dorian from Eternal Games and in this video I want to uh, light three different scenes from our next upcoming video game, The Armageddon and uh, this is the, I, I've got the scenes right here, this is the first scene this is the second one, which is kind of a different looking uh, scene and it's got a lot of uh, emissive materials which we're gonna get into in a minute and this is the third scene which is going to be relatively uh, kind of easier so let's start by uh, discussing the different types of light in unity so unity has two types of lights uh, the lights are either uh, uh, baked or static lights or they're uh, real-time lights so what's the difference between these two lights the um, the baked lights or the uh, static light, which is uh, something that affects all the static objects in the scene, and we meaning that if you're uh, if you have a, a object that is animated, like a character that you know runs around and uh, jumps and stuff like that, it's not going to be affected by the baked lights. But the reason we use them is because they're uh, a lot cheaper in the environment. They're a lot more uh, easy to use. They're not, they're not that heavy. But we do need both of them. We do need baked and um, real-time lights. So let's get started with using both of them. So the first type of light that you can see here is the emissive light that I have on my materials and some uh, objects. And these are the examples of type of lights that is only uh, affected if uh, that only affects the static objects. So let's just select all of our objects first and uh, click the static bar, which is I uh, which I have before. So if you haven't done that, just click the uh, checker box right here that says static in the inspector. And the reason that you're seeing the lights in the scene is because I have this uh, light bulb icon uh, turned on and if I turn it off, now this is the actual scene and if I in go into the uh, game window to see through my camera, you can see that there's no light, actual lights in the scene. So let's start, let's start adding lights and discuss the different types of them. And if I right click on the hierarchy and go to lights, now these are the different types of light emitters that we have. Uh, the first of them is the directional light, which uh, is not something that we use in indoor scenes, which because it's uh, some light that represents uh, the sunlight or the moonlight. Uh, it's something that we use in outdoor scenes so I'm not going to get into that right now the next one is the point light and if I click on it we have it right here this is a point light it's kind of like a light bulb it has a range which if you edit the range you can see this is the range of the distribution of the light which means anything out of this uh, sphere is not going to be affected by this light anything inside is going to it also has a color and intensity which is the amount of light emitted by this light source which is a little too much in this one and let's increase the light range okay I'm just going to start playing around with the lights to get the result that I want and the ceiling for me here in this scene is three parts so I'm just going to put one directional light uh, excuse me one point light under each one of them like so and I'm going to duplicate this put another one in the middle and I'm going to duplicate it again to get the third one in place like so okay now we have the lights that we want but uh, actually it's a little too bright for this scene it's kind of like a dark space like a dark intense uh, environment here so I don't want it to be like this maybe the point light point nine Actually, no. I'm just going to reduce the intensity 
maybe 0.7 same for these let's go to game yeah this is looking better This isn't bad at all. Actually, you know what? The camera is a little too wide, so I'm just gonna change the uh, field view maybe to 30. Maybe 35. Yeah. Let's place it in the right place. Yeah, this is better. Okay. So these were the point lights that are doing actually quite fine for the scene. So let's go to the second scene. Let's save this one. Okay. Now the second scene, I'm not going to use point lights to uh, distribute light in the scene. And we're going to go and see the spotlights. Now, spotlight is exactly what it sounds. It's a type of light that only uh, emits light to a specific uh, spot. Let's see. It also has a range, which is the distance that the light emits to. But this one also has a uh, let me see what it was angle if you open it up more it's gonna have a bigger range of light distribution like this which is fine here actually it's not in the center like so and maybe here this is a little too much Let's give it like 60. Okay. Let's duplicate it again. Actually, let me change the color into complete white. I don't like that yellow color. Okay. So, um, duplicate again. Maybe around here. Duplicate. Somewhere here, maybe four of them should do. Here and the last one is gonna be like over here. Okay, right. Let me change the Inner scale a little more to make it a bit softer. Fall off because this doesn't look exactly real. Real, excuse me. Like so, yeah, this is fine. Let's see the game window. Still pretty dark, so. We're gonna have to add more lights to the scene. But let's start with the this light over here and like I said before let's like these just gotta start with clicking static in the top uh, top right corner over here so that the baked lights can uh, be baked on the UVs and you need to change the light mode into from, from real time into mixed which means it's gonna have uh, baked and real time lights which is what we want which, uh, which is uh, what we want here in this scene mixed and mixed again 
And in order for these to start being baked, you need to go into the uh, lighting menu. If you don't have it there, you need to go to window and I think in anim rendering and yes, in lighting over here. And turn on auto generate. So right now, we're just going to have to generate. And what this is going to do is it's going to generate light maps on UVs that you have to make these uh, mixed type of light, which is baked and real time at the same time. Okay, it's probably going to take a minute. Okay, now the lights are generated. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and you see these lights over here. These are emissive lights and they're actually a little too strong. So I'm going to go into the corresponding material for this one and I'm going to reduce the intensity of lights that I have on these. Maybe, maybe that's a little too low. Maybe like um, three, probably will do. Yeah, this one. Also on these, change it to three. Yeah. Okay, so this one's two. By the way, if you don't know what this is, this uh, lightish glow, glow that I have on my uh, emissive materials, these are the post-processing uh, right here. This is called Bloom. If you don't have it turned on, it doesn't make the lights glow like this. And it's built in, in the, built in, in the uh, universal render pipeline in unity but if, if you have the built-in pipeline uh, you're gonna have to download a uh, post-processing effect from the unity store but if you're using uh, unity's uh, universal render pipeline you just need to apply it it's pretty easy okay now the final one let's go three bloom and yeah that's it and like i said you know this is uh, this uh, emissive materials they don't really emit a lot of uh, light so what i usually do is that i uh, kind of create a point light in the place that uh, these materials are supposed to have a lot of light and it kind of looks like it's being emitted by the emissive materials. Change the color to the yellowish color that this one's supposed to have. And reduce the range. It's not supposed to have a lot of range. And the intensity is going to have to be way lower. Maybe range it a little bit more and if you see it in the game tab let's have a look at it yeah this is fine I can see the door you can see the uh, runway but this hologram projector is still completely dark so what I'm gonna do here is that well, what this is is that this is like a hologram projector and when it's working it's gonna have a big blue uh, hologram here which is gonna have a lot of blue light like cyan light and I'm gonna use also a point light for that so let's bring the point light over here in the middle of it 
I'm gonna make it uh, fairly blue, like a cyan blue, like so. The range is still a lot. Let's make it like so. You can see the back, you can see the projector, maybe a little more, like a two. Okay. Now we can see the projector, we can see the metal dome behind it, we can see the runway. Alright guys, now the mostly the scene is mostly done, but uh, I kind of don't like the uh, back wall here because it's too, uh, it's too dark and you can't see the texture. So... I'm going to try to brighten up the scene here by bringing up, let's bring up the last set of point lights. Now these are going to be pretty big ones. I'm going to change the color to complete white to, you know, fit these uh, white spotlights. And let's, uh, let's just place it somewhere that doesn't uh, draw a lot of attention let's see here you know it's not bad it's not bad maybe maybe reduce the intensity a bit maybe like a 1.5 should do yeah so the scene is still pretty dark you can see the yellow light coming from the lamp and the red light coming from these uh little emitters and let's duplicate this let's have another one of this and place it a bit further down duplicate there we go maybe right here Maybe this is fine. I think two lights is going to be too much. Now, see, the mostly the problem that I have is because uh, all of my, almost all of my uh, models are have um, duplicated and uh, mirrored UVs because. For example, these square ones here, they all have the same UV tile and they use, uh, they all use the same uh, textures. So you're not going to have this problem that, you know, the lights keep turning on and off. So don't worry about that. And yeah, I think I'm happy with the, with the way that scene turned out. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yep. And let's get to the third and final scene that we have. So we're here. This is going to be a pretty nice one. There's a lot of uh, visual stuff in the scene, and once we apply the right point lights, uh, what the right lights to it, it's going to be pretty awesome. And I think I'm gonna, let's turn off the light bulb, bring out the first um, point light. This scene is pretty similar to the uh, first scene that we did. And I think I'm gonna do it, the light it the same way too. Probably two point lights are going to be more than enough place it like somewhere here another one over here 
Let's bring down the range a lot. Maybe like so. The intensity a bit lower. Duplicated. Second one over here. Maybe another one here. Yeah, let's do let's do three three point lights. Then we can uh, reduce the intensity to to like a point six. This one two point six. Our final duplicate like this and yeah yeah this looks pretty cool but the scene is a little too dark so let's bring here see this uh maybe i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna duplicate this one on the right and put one right about here And yeah, this is gonna work. But I don't, I don't want this one to cast any shadows. So let's select it and turn it into no shadows. Because if you had up shadows on, I mean, the character is standing right here. It's gonna have shadows cast this way, which is not something that we want. But this ones have uh, soft shadows, which they should. So look, uh, it makes them look much better. And yeah. So this is it for this video, guys. And thanks for watching. And if you have any uh, questions or anything like that, please comment down below. And 